What is going on everybody? We're back with another video and today I'll be showing you the top 10 ways how to open a beer bottle without a bottle opener. Just using household items. So I guess we won't be needing this. Alright, so here are the items that we're going to be using in today's video. A pair of scissors, a coin, a note or a bill, a lighter, a hammer, a large weighted knife or machete, keys, and a secondary beer or bottle. This can be full or open, the table itself, and last but not least, my teeth. So let's get into this video. What's going on guys? First of all, we'll be using a lighter. So all you have to do is put your hand around it, just like so around the neck, find your knuckle, put the lighter under here, and just pop off. Easy. Just like so. Now the bottle cap tends to shoot like 20 feet in the air. So if you don't want that to happen in your house, just simply put your hand over it and pop it open. All right guys, next is a pair of scissors. I'm sure most of you guys have this in your house. This one's super easy. You just grab the one side, put it right under, the other side over, and flick to away from you. Just like that, super easy. All right guys, this one is called the tabletop. Using any 90 degree edge or your table, <clears throat> You can put the cap under it like this and hit it in a downward motion with your open palm or your fist. Now, as you can see, I've done it before. It causes a lot of damage to wooden tables and stuff like that, but to me, it's the most satisfying way. If I have a granite countertop, it's probably the best to do it. So let's give this a go. Right under there like that and downward motion, easy. All right, on this one, I've never done it before, so I don't know if it works or not. I just seen it on the internet. So it must work, right? You can grab a large weighted knife or machete or sword and all you have to do is you bring it up the neck like this in one swift hard motion until it clips underneath the bottle cap right there and it should pop off without breaking. All right, three, two, one. Beauty. Hope you guys are enjoying the video, but if you, before we get too far, I want to show you guys how to store a beer back in the refrigerator once it's been opened. All you have to do is grab some cling wrap or plastic wrap, <clears throat> get a little bit of that off. So, take it around your beer, wrap it tightly down, twist it around so it's nice and flat. Grab an elastic band, twist it around there numerous times. And boom, just like that, you got a restored beer. It has a little bit of a bubble on top, that's how you know it works. Throw that in the back in the fridge. I've taken it out after three or four days and it's still perfectly foamy and not flat. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep watching the video. We got lots of bonus clips to come at the end that are pretty funny. And if you thought you guys would make it through this video without me drinking a single ounce of beer, well, you thought wrong. So stay tuned. All right, the next one we're gonna try is household keys or car keys. <clears throat> so let's see if this one works. It's probably going to be a little bit harder. There's a couple of these that uh, are a little bit um, more of a go-to than others, but this is all last resort, right? All right, let's try this here. This might take a couple tries. Let's uh, do somewhat of the lighter technique and try to pry this open. Okay, that was quite hard. Try here. Uh, slowly working, all right, yeah. Let's try the other side, and this should uh, this should pop off. No, three, two, one. Ugh. All right, that works. A little bit harder, but household keys or car keys usually work. But do not drink and drive. All right, let's get to the money. So, at first, we will try this coin right here, and then we'll try the note or bill. Uh, this one is super hard. This is probably the last one you're probably gonna want to resort to. It's super difficult. Uh, it's simply like the lighter, but you don't have very much leverage, so you have to be pretty strong to do this. <clears throat> um, let's just give it a go. It's kind of like the key, you gotta kind of pry it around the whole thing instead of just one clean pop off. <clears throat> Super tough, guys. But it should work. Ooh, that's like the hardest. <clears throat> and then we'll try the, the money note after this one. Let's see if that one works. Money, it's not so handy after all. Struggling on this one, boys. All right, let's give this one a go. This one is definitely the hardest one. 
I'd definitely rather resort to teeth than this one. Okay, I can hear the air release. Round and round. There we go, just coming out to do it. There it comes. There we go. Come on, buddy. Damn, I'm not even hanging on there. Ugh. Finally! <laughs> that one was by far the hardest and a fail. I do not recommend the coin at all. Let's go to the next one. All right, in this one, I'm gonna be attempting to use a Canadian $20 bill. Um, I seen that it was done with an American note or paper. So this is this is plastic and a little less uh, a little less sturdy. But basically, what you're gonna be doing is you're just gonna keep folding it up into a somewhat like a V dart. You know, in school when you uh, crumple all the paper paper up into a V and shoot it at your friends. That's kind of what you're doing here. You're gonna just keep uh, folding and folding and folding until you have a tiny little nook like this. And then you're gonna basically be using that. The money is the hardest. Oh, I know for a fact that's not gonna work. No, it just crumples. Let's try it a different way. So when I seen it, they rolled it up and then folded it. I don't know, let's see if that makes a difference. By far, so far, the money is a huge fail. Roll up, make it thicker. Don't get any ideas, guys. All right, roll this up and fold it. Okay, yes, that's more harder. You have to roll it up and fold it once. It's definitely more harder. Oh yeah, it's a lot more sturdy, but it's still not gonna be strong enough, unfortunately. I can tell already that this isn't gonna work. Now, you can see it bends. Maybe uh, without plastic money, maybe if you're in America and you can try it, or in the UK or something. Try to fold up a note. This one's just too flimsy. This experiment is a fail. Same with the other coin. Money, resort to laugh. All right, this one, we're gonna simply use our teeth. Now, if you're super drunk, I probably wouldn't recommend this. Um, I probably would leave it to one of the ends anyways, um, out of first what you would go to. Um, you <laughs> You probably have to have pretty strong teeth to do this and if you think this is pretty bad maybe just skip this video hopefully you got benefits <laughs> basically just put it onto your corner teeth or your incisor or whatever it's called and just pry it right off <laughs> just like so all right so this one is going to consist of two beers it doesn't matter if one is full and one is completely empty, um, but you're going to be using two beers and there's two separate ways to do this. <clears throat> so you can grab the one beer and just put it right under the neck like so and pry that off like that. Or you can grab this beer and put it on and hold it with your fingers like so and bop it on the table. And then this second one will pop off or you can hold it like that and hit it on your shoe. It'll pop off. But the easiest one to do is simply grab the other bottle, open or unopened, no matter what it is, grab it right underneath here, and pop. Three, two, one. Super easy. That one's one of the easier ones, guys. All right, last but not least, number 10. We're gonna be using a hammer. I don't think I've done this before, maybe when I was drunk, but we'll see if it worked. It should, it's pretty heavy and it has two claws, so it should pop under there. So let's just uh, grab our hold on there and see if this works. It might not be very clean, but it should work, right? The teeth definitely get under there really good. You can see. Last one should do it. There you go, using a claw hammer works all right guys that's the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed that's 10 ways that are um, a go-to of household items how to open a beer some are a lot easier than others the top ones that I use is a lighter a second beer uh, scissors stuff like that the harder ones which were experimental the coins the notes for money uh, the one that worked really well was the uh, the knife one that one turned out great um, but yeah, the teeth, I mean for me, I can resort to that one, it helps for me. 
But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I have a little bonus clip here. Do not do this at home. This one's just a gag uh, for comedy. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed the video. And uh, stay tuned for the next ones. Challenge accepted out. Peace. Or the pirate. Boy, that's a fuck ton of glass. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure the moment you guys have been waiting for, probably thinking, see, what are you gonna do with all those open beers? Well, we're gonna store most of them and we're gonna drink most of them. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, comment down below what your favorite uh, way to open a beer without a bottle opener was. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Full send or no send, baby. <sighs> Double barrel shotgun. If you thought that was impressive, make sure you go check out my triple barrel shotguns and my drinking six beers at once. What do you call that? Six tuple shotgun? I don't know. Check it out, guys. If you're a new subscriber, welcome and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.